Newly elected Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri lays down his vision for the upper chamber of the 19th Congress in his acceptance speech during the session opening on Monday, July 25. The lawmaker from Bukidnon openly campaigned for Marcos during the 2022 elections and successfully formed a supermajority coalition in the Senate with 20 members, including himself. In his speech, Zubiri says the Senate would be scrutinizing Marcos's pet bills to help the government fix ineffective policies. This Senate, under my leadership, however, will be one to solve problems more than it would find faults. While probes are magnets for publicity, it is the policies, laws patiently written line by line away from the limelight that drives progress. But Zubiri already gives assurances to the public that the Senate's supermajority bloc would not be used to railroad Marcus's priority measures. No other senator ran for Senate president against Zubiri, who got the nod of 19 of his colleagues who elected him via a collective vote. Meantime, unchallenged Leyte 1st District Representative Martin Romualdez easily wins as Speaker as the 19th Congress officially opened its first regular session. New fight lawmaker Ferdinand Alexander Sandro Marcos III on Monday, July 25, nominates his uncle Romualdez to hold the highest post in the House of Representatives. Romualdez is the president's first-degree cousin. The new speaker was majority leader during the 18th Congress when Rodrigo Duterte was president. He's expected to lead a supermajority of Marcos allied legislators in the House, and Lajas CMD is poised to be the leading party in the lower chamber.